Ray-Ban is the first brand that springs to mind when it comes to high fashion sunglasses. Ray-Ban sunglasses have been a real American symbol since their debut in the 1930s, alongside brands like Louisville Slugger, Levi's, and Mustang. Ray-Ban has survived finicky fashion trends and opponents, even surviving the dark days of disco, and today they're perched on more noses than ever before. However, the brand's huge popularity did not happen overnight, and the pioneering attitude that runs through the newest collection can be seen throughout the Ray-Ban history books. From its military roots to its appeal among celebrities and stars, in this video we will explore how Ray-Ban became the number one sunglasses brand. Welcome to Wealthy Mindset, where we explore unique and breathtaking angles from the world of money, economics, personal finance, and investing. But before we dive into it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, click on the bell icon right there so you never miss any of our subsequent videos. So, how did Ray-Ban get its start? In the mid-1930s, revolutionary airplanes were carrying passengers higher and further than they had ever been, and the U.S. Air Force pilots began to experience the fatal consequences of the sun's glare while flying. As a result, eyewear designers created the very first pair of Ray-Ban aviators, with unique lenses that minimized glare while sustaining clarity, preventing headaches. Bausch & Lohm was the first company to manufacture Ray-Ban sunglasses. The Ray-Ban brand was formed when the innovation was released publicly in 1937. Ray-Ban soon became popular among everyone, from pilots to those who enjoy being outside. With the advent of the Ray-Ban outdoorsman design the following year, Ray-Ban continued to grow its portfolio as well as its customer base. Skeet glass was developed for specialized groups such as hunting, shooting, and fishing aficionados. During World War II, American fighter pilots continued to wear Ray-Ban glasses. Despite their military origins, these items and inventions appealed to consumers who wished to use the same high-performance instruments as the experts. The impact of the military on fashion is unquestionable. Ray-Ban had successfully transitioned from military to mainstream fashion culture without sacrificing its unique functionality. Following World War II, Hollywood began to have a greater influence on what people wore. Ray-Ban Wayfarers were first introduced in 1952, and after being worn by stars like James Dean in Rebel Without a Cause (1955) and Audrey Hepburn in 1961's Breakfast at Tiffany's, they became the most easily recognizable fashion statements worldwide. Throughout this time, Ray-Ban continued to develop new products. Ray-Ban adapted to the new trends, embracing the 1960s aura of change and popular uprising. By 1969, the catalog had grown from approximately 30 models at the start of the decade to 50, with styles for men, women, and children. In the 1970s, disco was booming, and that necessitated dressing to dazzle, which typically meant wearing cool shades. At the 1984 Grammy Awards, Michael Jackson put on a pair of Ray-Ban aviators, which later became his iconic style. Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones used Ray-Ban Predator sunglasses in 1997's Men in Black, whereas Johnny Depp wore Ray-Ban shooter glasses in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas in 1998. By this time, the eyeglass industry had evolved and split into two distinct categories, sportswear and fashion statements. The Ray-Ban Vagabond and Ray-Ban Stateside are two variants with plastic frames and two different types of lenses, the G31 mirror lens and the conventional G15 lens. In the 1990s, Ray-Ban started to have some challenges. Ray-Ban sales began to decline as a result of competitive pressures as well as evolving trends and demands. As a result, Luxottica Group purchased Bausch & Lohm's global eyewear division, which included Ray-Ban, for $640 million in 1999. Ray-Ban eyewear for prescription glasses and Ray-Ban Jr. for kids were two major additions to the Ray-Ban brand in 2003. Ray-Ban announced the Never Hide campaign in 2007, a creative worldwide media campaign promoting Ray-Ban's ability to put the Ray-Ban wearer in the spotlight with a classic chic remark. Ray-Ban Light Ray, a unique sunglass and corrective eyewear range that enhances the tech segment, was introduced in 2011. The hypoallergenic, resilient, flexible, and exceptionally lightweight titanium alloy was used in the Ray-Ban Light Ray prescribed glasses. Furthermore, each unit of Ray-Ban Light Ray sunglasses includes a kit of three replaceable lenses, allowing wearers to customize their glasses' aesthetic on a daily basis. 
Furthermore, the new decade has brought with it a heap of exciting technological breakthroughs. Google Glass is among other groundbreaking innovations the company has planned. In addition, in 2021, Ray-Ban Stories, a type of smart glasses developed in conjunction with Facebook Reality Labs, was released. It appears that the Ray-Ban company intends to keep this forward-thinking attitude and continue to produce classic sunglasses that look great and provide exceptional sun protection. While fashion trends come and go, Ray-Ban sunglasses are never out of style. The public certainly adores the iconic brand and is keen to preserve its legacy for future generations. However, we can only guess what the future holds. We're pretty sure, however, that Ray-Ban will continue to be a pioneer in the production of high-quality, protective, and trendy eyewear. If you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the latest business trends and interesting facts. You can also turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our mind-blowing videos. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, bye!